All right, Shalom. We want to start off by giving our praises to Yahweh. Yahweh. Bashem. Bashem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Bashem. Bashem. Rakal. Rakal. Kadash. Kadash. Double honors to the Apostle and Elders, a great millstone who rule well and taught us this truth. And peace and salutations to the house of David, the elect men preaching this truth and faith and sincerity. This is the brother Yitazaka. And uh, we're going to go into a lesson entitled, uh, Our People Are Sick, you know, because you look at the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Indian, you know, even though they may not have the flu or uh, a common cold, you know, or, uh, you know, are literally sick, you know, fever, you know, allergies, sinus, you know, uh, uh, a, a literal sickness, you know, our people are still sick. Uh, spiritually and mentally, man, you know, so, you know, we're going to go into some scripts on that, you know, Lord willing, through the spirit of prophecy, how about some outside, edifying, uh, I'm going to start here, this Proverbs chapter 13, verse 12, it says, hope deferred, make of the heart sick, so, that's, that's what's uh, made our people mind sick, because, uh, really, out here in this place, we don't have no hope, man, all right, the only hope that we have is, how about some outside, you know, but uh, ultimately, you know, Yahabashim Al Shai has us in harsh, harsh uh, bondage right now, harsh captivity, you know, and, uh, you know, he has us serving out uh, punishment. So we we really um, don't, don't, we, we our people don't really have a, a hope overall, you know, because Yahabashim Al Shai pretty much hid his face from us, you know. But then on top of that, with Yahabashim Al Shai showing his face back into the nation of Israel, you know. Uh, only a certain select of people can even hope in the Lord or, you know, their their mind has been made so sick that they don't even know how to hope anymore, you know? That's why, like, like how that nigga Tupac used to be like, I'm hopeless, you know what I'm saying? That's how the nation, uh, majority of the nation of Israel feels, you know, and that's that's why they're sick, you know? Let me get uh that word sick real quick too, bro. Um... Sick is uh kala, kala in the Hebrew, and it says to be or become weak, to be or become sick, be or become diseased, be or become grieved, be or become sorry, to be weak, be sick, to be or become weak, feel weak, to become sick, become ill, you know, so to be tired, <laughs> to make sore. To grieve, to be wounded. Yeah, so ultimately Jake is grieved, wounded, you know, uh, you know, weak, you know, uh in a in a low position. That's because their hope, you know, uh is it was pretty much taken away by Yahabashim Al Shah because uh ultimately uh Jake didn't want to uh have faith in Yahabashim Al Shah, didn't want to have hope in Yahabashim Al Shah and that led to you how about see me outside like okay i'm gonna give you niggas nothing to hope in and that made jake completely sick out here that now jake in a position where he needs he needs hope he need he needs something hope you know he, he needs some hope you know but you how about see me outside is only giving that gift to a certain amount of people you know so i'm gonna finish reading the rest of this script it says hope deferred make of the heart sick but when the desire cometh it is a tree of life it, it said but when the desire cometh is a tree of life all right, and Jake, the, the the majority of the nation of Israel, we not getting what we desire, you know, here in this place, man. All right, this place wasn't uh, made for us to get our desires, you know, and what we want, you know. Ultimately, you know, we we so so we we, we don't have a tree of life, you know. We we in the shadow of death, pretty much, you know. So, in in the shadow of death, you know, if you if if you're constantly surrounded by death, you, you know, eventually you're going to be, you gonna, you're going to be sick, you know? God. You had a preset, brother? Yeah. It's, uh, Proverbs 21, 16. Con. It's Proverbs chapter 21 and verse 16. It says, the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Yeah, bro. 
Yeah, so that's that's our people, man. You know, they they wonder it out of way of understanding. What's the way of understanding? You know, well, I tell you in Job 28, the 28th chapter, that to depart from evil is understanding. But our people, they, they don't depart from evil, you know, so they don't have no understanding. You know, they, they wonder they, they wonder out of the way of understanding because they continue in their evil way, you know. So they, they're they remaining in the congregation of the dead, which is the sickly, you know. That's pretty much the sick. That's the disease. That's the weak, you know. The dead, the dead can't do nothing for themselves. What can a dead person do, you know? Uh, I got this. Psalms 147 and uh, and 2. It says, The Lord, Yahabashim Yahushad, doth build up Jerusalem. He gathereth the, together the outcast of Israel. And the outcast of Israel are, uh, well, let's get this word outcast because pretty much when you go into it, the whole nation of Israel is outcast here. You know, but we're gonna get this word outcast just to see what that means. That's that's the cock. And it says to push, thrust, chase, overflow, totter, sore. That's another word for uh sickness. It says drive away or out, be outcast, be cast down, you know, to be thrust down, you know, to drive to, to overthrow, you know. So the whole nation of Israel, we've been overthrown, you know. We've been we've been thrust down, you know. Um, so it says the, the Lord Yahabashim Yahshad doth build up Jerusalem and gather together the outcasts of Israel, you know, which really goes into the elect who are the true outcasts. But uh, reading verse three, it says, He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds, you know. And who's 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 broken in heart, you know, that's that's the nation of Israel. We we broken in our mind, man, you know, we're we're wounded, you know. We 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 we're the ones who are, are sick. So ultimately, that's what that go back to Proverbs the thirteenth chapter when it says, "Hope deferred make of the heart sick because we don't have we don't have our hope, which is Yahweh by Shemal shot, and we're you know we're sick, you know. We don't have nobody to bind up our wounds or or or, or mend our broken heart, you know. You got something, bro? I got that too. Is Isaiah when start at five? Yeah, it's uh Isaiah chapter one verse five. It says, "Why should Jay be stricken any more? Ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick, and the whole heart faint." All Israel, all Israel is sick right now. Outside of the nation of Israel, you got even uh, because we know all Israel is not of Israel. So you gonna have the, uh, the Israelites who are not of Israel. They're walking around and think they're black, Mexican, Puerto Rican, uh, Peruvian, Guatemalan, Africans. All these other uh, all these other heathen and, and by words. These, these, they're sick. That's why they think they're uh, like that because they're sick. When you when you look at going to a uh, a mental institution, you have people in straight jackets talking about their superheroes and they see dead people and all this other crazy stuff. Why? Because they're sick. Mm. And that's just like with the uh, with the two thirds of the nation in Israel, they're just sick. They need help. They they gonna get those. They need to be in straight jackets. Good. Ultimately, we know they're going to get, uh, they're going to die in Jacob's shovel. But they say, why should they be stricken anymore? Gun, gun, gun. Yeah, and they're stri they striking, they goes into, uh, like, pretty much, uh, you know, healing you, you know? Because, you know, when you, just like the Lord, he chastised you to make you better, you know? So... The Heavenly Father, like, why well, I'm going to keep chastising you niggas to make you better when y'all just going to go and get sick again? Like, you you get, you get, you get your, so to speak, you get your kids some medicine or whatever. You know what I'm saying? They was they was uh, going outside with no jacket on in the blistering cold or outside playing in the rain or something. You know, and then you get them well up. You give them some medicine. You know what I'm saying? You get them healed. Then they go right back out and do the same thing again. Like, fuck that shit, man. You, you want to go get sick? That's on you. 
you know? Yeah. Uh, let me get this. This is Jeremiah 30. It's like your Satan. Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 13. It says, There is none to plead thy cause that thou mayest be bound up. Thou hast no healing medicines. <laughs> it says, All thy lovers have forgotten thee. They seek thee not. For I have wounded thee with a wound of an enemy, with the chastisement of a cruel one, for the multitude of thine iniquity, because thy sins were increased. You want to read it? Can I, uh, let, me, let me keep reading. Verse 15. It says, Why criest thou for thine affliction? Thy sorrow is incurable for the multitude of thine iniquity, because thy sins were increased. I have done these things unto thee. So you have Ashim Asha said pretty much because we wanted to continue in uh, iniquity. Like I was saying, he pretty much hid his face for us and, and allowed us to be sick. Like he's not. Because he, Yahweh Hashim Asha is the healer. He is the healing. You know, he, th that's the only way you can be healed. If you don't have Yahweh Hashim Asha, you can't be healed. You, you, you just ultimately, you know, going to die in your sickness, you know. But Yahweh Hashim Asha said he's allowed, uh, these different uh pathogens and germs to attack us which are you know our enemies you know those who we are in captivity to you know because they uh they can't heal us you know our only thing they can do is, is is further our our sickness further our affliction you know which goes into the sickness which ultimately you have by shot has allowed to happen because of, of our iniquities you know uh, but what but what Yahweh Hashim Asha said though he said, therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries every one of them shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey, for I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, said the Lord Yahweh Hashim Asha, because they called thee an outcast, saying this is Zion. Whom no man seeketh after, you know. So ultimately, these other nations, they they can't heal us. They can't give us no healing, you know. You want to go to the doctor and shit, get you a health insurance plan. You want to go see Esau, you know. You want to uh, uh, try to get a gift from Esau so you can feel better. These these nations, they can't they can't help your sickness, man. Yeah, how about Shimei Asha is the only one who can restore health unto us? Because ultimately, these nations, they want to continue to see us down, you know. So if we, you you come to them with your sickness, they're going to make you more sick. That's why Jake in the position that they're in right now, you know. You got some you got some bro? Uh, I got this. This uh James 5 and 15. It says, "And the prayer of of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up." And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Yeah, bro. Kind so it's a uh, the prayer of the faith shall shall save the sick, you know, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. So, you know, ultimately you gotta have a you you gotta pray, and you gotta have faith, and you have Bashim Al Shah, you know, he he. he He'll, 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 he'll save you. You know, you don't have to go get Esau witchcraft to make you feel better, ultimately. You know, all you got to do is send some prayers up to Yahweh Hashim Yashah and have faith in Yahweh Hashim Yashah, and he'll save you. And ultimately, that goes into us being in this position we're in right now in captivity. You know, like the Ark, he uh, bring a scripture out, you know, uh, it's in the book of Lamentations. Uh, let me see. Hold on. I think I got that. Um. Lamentation 4, uh, 4 and 17, I think that's it. Yep. Uh, this is Lamentations 4 and 17. It says, as for us, our eyes as yet felt for for our vain help and our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. You know, so that's ultimately what the nation of Israel does here 
uh, in this place, you know. We, we, we watching for other nations that can't save us, man. These, these, these nations that we are in captivity to, they can't help us, man. You know, you go to Esau to, to the doctor and he give you some medicine. They, they don't, they don't fully heal you, you know. Or, you know, you get uh, a job to so-called uh, make your situation better. You know, you, 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 you're not healed fully. You know, you can never fully be healed in this place. You're gonna always be sick. You know. Cause why? Because these nations, this uh, this place, none, none of these none of these cap captors can save us. Only Yahabashim Yahshai, and that's that's the that's the nation of Israel's problem. We're not seeking Yahabashim Yahshai to be cleansed from the sickness that we have. You know, this virus is incurable, but but unless we have Yahabashim Yahshai, who is the cure? You know. You got some, bro? Yeah, uh, what's that, Micah 2 and 10? This is Micah chapter 2 and verse 10. It says, Arise, Jay, and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. And that's our people right now. Two thirds of our people are destroyed because they think this is our rest. They think they can make it. They've been here. They've been here in witchcraft their whole life. Uh, anybody can make it. All you gotta do is be a good citizen, a good coon, and you can make it. And that's you ain't gotta worry about your whole nation. Just worry about yourself. Just save yourself. And that's a sick mindset. There's no other nation rolls like that. When you when you look at uh, all the other nations right now, that's rebelling. They got all these uh, they got all these protests. They doing that together. You come here to America, niggas get killed. You only see a handful of uh, Jake's protests, and they're not all down for uh, for whatever no more. Because our people are sick. Even back then, during the civil rights movement, our people were destroyed. But they had one thing going for themselves. They they knew we can only depend on our people. So when people, so when our people protested, everybody was down with all the Jake's was down with. Everybody was on board. Well, ultimately, like like I just said, this, this, this is not our rest. Our people are destroyed. They bought into uh, Esau's witchcraft, and now they're completely bugged out and sick. All they worry about is themselves. They say they don't need the Lord. Even uh, you got men in the, in, the, in the knowledge, and they got this truth, and they sitting on couches watching videos all day, but they're not giving none of it back. They sick too, but they think they can. Uh, they think they're gonna skate past without giving back. The all about me outside. They think they can just take, 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 and not give back. You gotta be sick to think that. says why it's like it when thy people israel be smitten down before the enemy because they have sinned against thee and shall turn again to thee and confess thy name and pray and make supplication unto thee in this house which goes back to the prayers and the faith that we're supposed to have if we're sick which we are then hear thou in heaven and forgive the sin of thy people israel and bring them again unto the land which thou gavest unto their fathers, when heaven is shut up and there is no rain, because they have sinned against thee, if they pray toward this place and confess thy name and turn from their sin when thou afflictest them, then hear thou in heaven and forgive the sin of thy servants and of, of thy people Israel, that thou teach them the good way wherein they should walk and give rain upon thy land, which thou hast given to thy people for an inheritance. If there be in the land famine, if there be pestilence, blasting, mildew, locust, or if there be caterpillar, if their enemy besiege them in the land of their cities, whatsoever plague, whatsoever sickness there be. So... 
Yeah, but she means I'm saying like whatever is going on, no matter what kind of a uh, sickness or how destroyed you are, if you turn towards the east and pray with all supplication and faith, he'll deliver us, man. All right, but the nation of Israel, they don't want to do that. You know, so ultimately, you know, we sick, you know, Jake, they got all these uh movements and all these marches and they want to complain about the positions that they in, you know, and uh they 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 sick and feel like, you know, oh God is forsaking us and all this and that. But ultimately, yeah, how about she might start telling you what you gotta do right here to change your situation, but Jake don't wanna do it. You know, we can all be the hell up out of here right now, you know, and cured. You got some, bro? Get this. This, uh, Sebastian. Yeah. Oh, you got one, bro? Which, which one did you just grab? That was uh, First Kings, the eighth chapter. Eight and, eight and 33 through 37. Second Chronicles chapter 7 and verse 14. It says, If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. And that was basically what you said. If my people were to, uh, if my people were to repent. Like, if all Israel right now, today, will all repent, same time, all right, we ready to go back home, uh, end this madness, y'all would, y'all would say he would, uh, he would, he would end this shit right now, but you niggas don't want to do it. That's crazy. But they want to complain about the, uh, position that we in. <laughs> Time. But that, that's, but that's a nigga for you. He had complained all day, but he ain't got no suggestions. He ain't trying to do no work. He ain't filling out no apps, but he can run his mouth all day. Time. Time. Yep. So this is uh, Matthew 9 and verse 12. It says, But when Yahweh heard that, he said unto them, They that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. You got it, bro. Yeah, so so they that are whole don't need a physician. The only ones who need to be uh, fixed are the ones that are sick. And it's funny because you got all these nations talking about some, they believe in Jesus, they need Jesus. But y'all not sick. Y'all <laughs> even, y'all got nations, y'all got kings, y'all got land, y'all got inheritances. Y'all, y'all, y'all all good. It's only y'all people who are destroyed and sick. Y'all good. Y'all don't need no fucking help. So it just, it kind of bugs me out when I see Edomites and other heathens talking about something they believe in Jesus, they need Jesus, and all this other guy. We're like, yo, your people are good. Your people aren't running around telling people their lives matter, don't kill them. Hands up, don't shoot. Your people ain't running around doing that. Your people are good. All you nations are good. We the only people who, who are sick and they need the help. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah, that's a beautiful point, bro. You know, that's why I say I'm not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. All right, because you, because you, you, you fuck it. Uh, well, two thirds of the nation of Israel, they feel like they got it already. They, they, they don't need, they don't need healing. You know, what their their way, their methods of healing is uh, is all they need. You know. Let's get this. It's like it. this proverb is four. In 20, it says, my son, attend my word. So like you attend to my words, incline thy ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. For they are life unto those that find them and health to all their flesh, which health means whole. All right. It says, keep thy heart with all diligence for out of it. Are the issues of life. So pretty much, you gotta attend to the words of Yahabashi Miao Sha. That's how you live. That's how you get cleaned up. But Jake, Jake don't attend to the words of Yahabashi Miao Sha. He's not studying 
the words you have I see me outside. And ultimately, we know these other heathen nations like the Ark was saying they can't even attend to the words you have I see me outside because it wasn't written for them. So how in the hell are they going to be healed? You know, well, what do they need to be healed from? They was made to be sick, you know. And two thirds of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, y'all was made to be sick as well because you don't want, you you refuse to attend to the words you have by Shemel Shah. You know? You got something, bro? I got something. This, uh, it's a rock. This is a rock, chapter uh, 38, and verse 15. It says, he that sinneth before his maker, let him fall into the hand of the physician. You got that, bro? Yeah. Yeah, so if you uh if you don't incline into the words of your how about you uh which are gonna heal you, which you're you're sick if you don't do that, you know, and you 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 uh you you don't incline your words to the uh your 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 ways to the words of your how about you outside, you know. Ultimately, it, 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 that's gonna you gonna let that heal you, inclining your way to the words of Yahweh Shem Al Shai, or you're not gonna do it, and you're gonna fall into the uh, hands of the physician anyway. Which you could fall into the hands of the physician and get healed, or you could fall into the hands of the physician and die. You know, cause you can you can get surgery, but they don't uh, necessarily mean you're gonna be you're gonna be fixed, you're gonna be healed, you're gonna be bound up. That physician could end up killing your ass, you know? And that's what's going to happen when you have a shot come back, you know? He going he gonna to heal, he going to heal his men, and he going to kill the rest of you niggas. He is the physician. This, uh, it's a rock, chapter 30, and verse 17, it says, death is better than a bitter life or continual sickness. You got that, bro? place you're continually sick here man <laughs> you know continually man so really you know like the ox said when when jay get put to death that's a good thing man or at least you ain't got to continue to be here in this sick ass place and continually be sick you know this uh malachi chapter 1 verse 8 it says and if ye offer the blind for sacrifice is it not evil and if ye offer the lame and sick is it not evil? Offer it now unto the governor, unto thy governor. Will he be pleased with thee or accept thy person? Said the Lord of hosts, Yahweh Shem Shai. So, you know, ultimately, you know, we know that Yahweh Shai, he got a sacrifice in Basra, you know, which, uh, you know, he going to separate the lambs from the goats, which the lambs represent those who are going to be healed. And the goats represent the sick who are going to be done away with, you know, so. If you're if you're sick, you know you can't even make a us. Uh, if you offer something sick to your how about you outside, that's wicked anyway. So if you're sick and you're not accepting healing, and you try to sacrifice to your uh make a sacrifice, sacrifice yourself to your how about you outside, he's not gonna accept that. That's wicked within itself right there. You know that's why two thirds of the, your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians are gonna be put to death. All right. Because you refuse to accept the healing, you 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 refuse to be cured. You try to just offer yourself up how you are, you know. Like Jake, uh, they be saying it in the world, like uh, God is gonna take me as I am. No, the fuck you not, man. You gotta you gotta clean yourself up, man. All right. Come as you are. Yeah, right. Yeah, come. Yeah, come as I come as you are. 
That's not true, man. You can't even make a sacrifice to your Habashim Yahusha as it is, man. It got to be perfect, you know? Kind, bro. Kind, bro. Kind, bro. That's right, huh? Uh, you got, you got some, bro. Uh, you got. All right, got him. This Exodus chapter twenty-three. Try to shoot through these last few. This Exodus chapter twenty-three, verse twenty-five. It says, "And ye shall serve the Lord, Yahabashim Shai, your power, and He shall bless thy bread and thy water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of thee." Going there, bro. And that's how, and that's how we can. Uh, so you bring the first line again. Con. Uh, this Exodus twenty-three and twenty-five. It says, "And ye shall serve the Lord your power, Yahweh." Yeah, so so you serve the Lord, Yahweh That's how we get our increase. That's how we become unsick. Because in the world, we we at one point in time, we all were sick. Um, because you got people that'll come up, they look at me. See me preaching the Bible, they be like, hold on, hold on, time out. I thought you can't mark your flesh. What happened to that? And I'm looking at me, yo, bro. And I go to Corinthians, I'm like, and then I start reading where Paul says, uh, there was at one point in time we were all, uh, we were, it goes into, uh, the scripture that says, know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom. Okay. And then he goes into all these various sins, and at the end, he says, and on top of that, all, some of y'all came from some of these things that I just named. He said, but you were washed and purified in the blood of Yahweh Shai. Mm. And, and that's how we uh, come back. This, that's how we come back. To serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and making, our, making uh, another pledge unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh which is the uh, adoption. Because a lot of our people, like especially the, uh, the ones that think they know the Bible, I remember earlier you brought out the scripture that said, uh, the ones that are whole, they don't need a position. And that's these Christians. They think they got it all. They think they're good. That's why they they, they, they think they can come up and judge us. Well, you 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 got a beard. You're not shaving. You got tattoos. You're not supposed to have tattoos. And they, they, they think they're condemning us, but they're the ones looking like fools. They eat pork. They only God can judge me. Don't call anything unholy what is holy. The only way, the only way to, uh, to be uh, made right is to serve in Yahweh by Shemiah I actually heard a dumb Christian uh, a couple weeks ago. He said, uh, he said, he said it's a, uh, it's a requirement into getting into the kingdom of heaven. It's a dress code. And if you don't adhere to each, he made it, he made it, he made a club example. He said, at the club, say you can't wear sneakers. And you want to get in without the sneakers, and then the club club said you need you you, you you got sneakers on you can't get in. And then he said that that's basically how it is with uh who they call Jesus. Well, he said Jesus, you gotta you gotta do exactly what he says. You gotta believe he is, and then you can get into the club. That's the dress code. You gotta believe he is and do what he says. It's funny because the Christians know there's things you gotta do to get in, but they don't understand. They don't understand. The law is those things that you got to do. They think you just confess the name of the Lord and you're saved. Right, that's, but, that's that uh, like having a zeal but not according to knowledge. John, like y'all serving, but y'all don't know who y'all serving. Like the brothers read, you, we got to, uh, that's how you get your increase by serving y'all by Shemiah Shah. The only way to serve them is uh, if you got faith and you're keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. Nah, bro. This, uh, this Hosea 6 and 1. It says, Come and let us return unto the Lord, Yahabashim Yahushai, for he have torn and he will heal us. He have smitten and he will bind us up. Yeah, bro. Nah, so <laughs> that's simple and plain, man. Let us return unto the Lord, Yahabashim Yahushai. He smit, he smit us. Or he allowed us to, you know, pretty much be have a sore destruction, you know, be discomforted, be diseased, you know, come under the hand of our enemy, come under the hands of all these strange wayward doctrines and, and, and principalities and demons. But all we got to do is return unto him and he'll heal us, you know. It's simple.
this Ezekiel chapter 34 verse 4 the diseased have ye not strengthened neither have ye healed that which was sick and it's talking about these heathen it says neither have ye bound up that which was broken neither have ye brought again that was driven away neither have ye sought that which was lost but yea it's like it but with force and with cruelty have ye ruled them and they have and they were scattered because there is no shepherd and they became meat to all the beasts of the field when they were scattered you got that bro you got it God, so uh how about see he ultimately gonna destroy uh these heathen man because they supposed to uh really they 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 have uh took us into their possession you know so they're uh, when when you have some in your possession, you're responsible for it, man. All right. So these heathen, right now, they 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 took it upon themselves to uh, you know, uh, take us as slaves, take us captives, you know, uh, rule over us, uh, uh, so forth and so on. So they supposed to uh be responsible for healing us for our wounds. You know, these heathen are like they're over us, you know, they, they tell you about that in second Ezra the sixth chapter, that these, these nations that who have ever been reputed as nothing have began to rule over us, you know, H have to become to be, become lords over us, you know, but these nations, they don't, they don't have, they don't, they don't try to heal us up, man. All right. They, they, they not, uh, doing nothing for us, but Jake still want to acknowledge these, uh, nations uh, like, 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 like they can heal them, like they can do something for them, like they really for their cause, you know, especially the so-called white man, he hasn't strengthened none of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, he haven't healed none of you niggas from your sicknesses, man, all you niggas more sick than ever, man, all right, and you want to talk, uh, you know, they, they, they quick to be, uh, acknowledge their doctor, or their, or their trainer, you know, or their physician, you know, one of these fucking witches and warlocks, you know, but them, they, they not doing shit for you. Kind, yeah, or they science, you know, like, 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 like they really, uh, doing something for, like, like there's done. what, what, if, if, if you, uh, if these doctors or physicians, uh, you know, pseudoscientists, uh, you know, really modern day wizards and warlocks was so great, why the hell you niggas ain't fixed yet, you niggas still retarded, you niggas still sick, you know, this, uh, Job chapter 13, verse 4. It says, But ye are forgers of lies, ye are all physicians of no value. You want that, bro? You got it. Yeah, so Yahabashimasha said the so called white man is a, fo uh, a forger of lies, a physician of no value, man. All right, e Esau, Edom can't do nothing for you, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, man. Y'all want to talk about, oh, vote Trump, Bert, vote Bernie Sanders, all right, vote uh, Hillary Clinton. All right, vote, vote, uh, Michelle Obama. All right, you know all, all these fucking heathen man. They, they, they can't do. They, they physicians of no value, man. They forges of lies, man. All right, they, they'll tell you that they're gonna fix you. They're gonna tell you that they're gonna make you better. All right, but they not. Look at Barack Obama. This nigga said change is gonna come. Ain't a change came for you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, man. You niggas are still sick and stupid. You know. <laughs> Why? You still sick? You got some, bro? You got it. I got, all right, I got a few more. It's Jeremiah chapter 8 and verse 22. It says, Is there no balm in Galeed? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? <laughs> so, y'all about to see me outside, like, don't y'all niggas got doctors? All right, don't y'all got uh uh scientists, all right, and teachers, and uh you know uh so forth and so on. Don't you don't you got those? All right, don't y'all got bomb? Don't y'all got medicines and stuff down there? Why are you niggas still sick? Get this. This uh, it's a rock. Thirty seven. In uh, 30, it says, For excess of meats bring of sickness, and surfeiting will turn into chlor. Cl chlor. 
and, and that's that's what happened to the, uh our people down here man they that took uh, in, in uh excess of meats you know the scriptures speak about uh desiring not dainty meats which the meats represent the philosophies and the ways of the heathen the so-called white man you know that's all he, he he give you more and more meats he give you more and more doctrine give you more and more philosophies he give you more and more bullshit eventually you get sick like if you just sit there and just eat cake and, and ice cream and fucking junk all day, you're going to get sick, bro. That's what happened to the nation of Israel. It says, and surfeiting will turn into clover. And surfeiting, surfeiting means like uh, pretty much going into like just uh, being wonton in, 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 in abundance. All right, just doing what the hell you want to do type shit. Just anytime you want to do it. All right, that that turns into anger. Clover means anger. So that surfeiting that you be doing, you know, uh, excess of fun. You know, gluttony, being gluttonous, so to speak, you know, that turned into, uh, into chlor, which that's, that chlor is the anger of Yahabashim al Shah, which is his indignation that he's going to bring upon two thirds of the nation of Israel and all these heathen, you know, uh, in verse 31, it says, by surfeiting have many perished, but he that take of heed prolongeth his life. All right. So take heed to what? To the words of Yahabashim al Shah. So let's get this one, uh, Micah. This is Micah chapter 6 and, uh, and 13. It says, this is Micah chapter 6 verse 13. It says, therefore also will I make thee sick and smiting thee and making thee desolate because of thy sins. And, and that's why you niggas, uh, <laughs> that's why you niggas been laid desolate right now from, 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 from surfeiting, you know. For surfeiting, many have perished. You know, that's why you're so sick right now. You know? Let's get this in uh, Matthew 4. 4 and 23. It says, And Yahweh Shah went about all Gal Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. And his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought unto him all sick people and, that were taken with diverse diseases and torments, and those that were possessed with devils, and those that were lunatic, and those that had the palsy, and he healed, healed them, you know. But our people, they don't want uh, Yahweh Shai. They, our people reject Yahweh Shai. Well, they, just uh, like Yahweh Shai said, uh, if they, they reject you, they rejected me. They rejected you because they rejected me, you know, just roughly paraphrasing. So ultimately, when we out there trying to heal our people through this word, which is Jehovah Shai, they rejected, you know, and that's why they not healed. That's why they they, they they possessed with devils. They lunatics. You know, they got palsies. You know, they're being tormented, you know, because they don't want this word, you know, which is Jehovah Shai. They refuse Jehovah Shai. They anti-Mashiach, you know. Get this in uh, Malachi 4. This uh, Malachi chapter 4 and verse 2. It says, But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. You know? And who who, who is the Son of Righteousness? The Son of righteous, Righteousness is Yahweh Shah. You know? And he's going to... He, he said, to those that fear my name, two-thirds of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, y'all don't fear the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you know? And that's why you're not going to be healed. You know, you're going to ultimately be destroyed, you know? Um, let's see, I got one more. You got one, bro? What you got? Jeremiah 8 and 11. This Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 11. It says, for they have healed the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly, saying, peace, peace, when there is no peace. <laughs> yeah, that's that's these heathens, man. All right, and two-thirds of our so-called, uh, 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 these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, man. All right, they'll tell you that it's peace here, man. They'll tell you that it's hope here, man. But there ain't no peace. There ain't no hope here, man. All right, the only peace and the hope uh, comes from Yahabashim Yahushai, which, which is ironic because another name for our lord yahweh shai is the prince of peace you know 
So you can't get peace unless you're getting it from our Lord, Yahweh Shah, through the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, you know? Put this uh, last one. This is Rock chapter 10, verse 10. It says, The physician cutteth off a long disease, and he that is today a king, tomorrow shall die. God, this uh Sirach chapter 10, verse 10. The physician cut off a long disease. And he that today he that is today a king, tomorrow shall die. And right now this kingdom is a disease. Mm. And being in this doctrine, the doctrine of America, the doctrine of today's society, going along with that is a disease. Matter of fact, just the other day I seen uh on RT News, they said transgenders in Iran is reaching an all-time high. And that's I, I, Iran buying into the, uh, the ways of Babylon. Yep. And, uh, and, that's, and that's a disease, that's a sickness. But the position is going to carry that out. And only and that position, like the brother said, that's Yahweh Shah. He's the position. He's going to cure out the, uh, the madness of our people. Mm. He's going to, and ultimately the madness of everybody. Because... Huh. When she come back and the righteous rule, the, the righteous kingdom is set up, everybody's going to follow the, uh, the proper doctrine. Come on, brother. But then it says, but well, he is a king now. What did the last line say? It says, um, and, and he that is today a king, tomorrow shall die. All right, so, so, and so, we, so, people, so the people who are uh, so-called kings now, they, uh, they live in righteously, delicious. I mean, they live in... Uh, they're living good, they're living deliciously, enjoying themselves, all these so-called celebrities, all these uh, these mayors, these senators, all these people, they're going to be destroyed. That's, they, when when, uh, when Yahweh Shah comes back, these people are going to be the people that's going to be destroyed. But they wanted to get down with this, this uh, society. Come on, bro. Come on, that's it. All right, so yeah, I had that, that was all I had, bro. You had anything? Uh, yeah, so with that, we want to give our praises to Yahweh, Yahweh, by Hashem, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, by Hashem, Rokal, Rokal, Kadash, Kadash, double honors to the apostle and elders of great millstone, rule well, and peace and salutations to the house of David, shalom to the elect. <laughs>